Howdy, y'all. Hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving yesterday. I'm enjoying a couple days off from driving the school bus. Uh, this year is quite a bit more busy for me as I was dr um, to drive um, a shuttle during the day. So um, I get to work at about 5.30 in the morning and I come home at about 5 in the afternoon. <laughs> it's a long, long day. <clears throat> Anywho, I was thinking about tools. Tools that were meant, tools that were built to last, tools that were meant to, to, to last a long while, were meant to be used. And uh, the reason I got to thinking about this is I, this old flashlight of mine, this old Rayovac flashlight I found at a, at a, at a garage sale um, years ago, and I've been using it, and it's, it's an old, old flashlight, you know, I don't know, were these from the 50s and 60s or something? I don't know. It's an ancient flashlight. It works just perfectly well. Well, we haven't been able to find any more of these lately, so we bought a couple of a uh, couple of flashlights from from Walmart the other night. And once you know it, that one of them on the very first night we just opened it out of the package and it already didn't work. <laughs> this stuff just ain't meant to last anymore. Another example I got to thinking about this year. I got to thinking about this one quite a bit this last year, doing all my work in the garden. It is a, a hoe. Now this is a this is a modern hoe bought from. Well, I bought it from Orschlands, I think, because it's a, you know, it's proudly made in the USA. That still means something to me, anyhow. But if you can see this, you can see that it ain't made very well in the USA. You can see that the that the blade of the hoe is only welded onto the neck and you can see it's I've only been using this for this one season now granted I use my hose pretty hard but uh, you can see that it's already separating from the, the blade is already separating from the neck but uh, this fall but this past fall uh, they had the citywide garage sale in the in Fort Scott across the state line and one of the garage sales out there had had these two hoes he had two of them and I think he wanted four or five bucks for the for each of them so I snatched them up real quick but the big difference is you can see that the blade and the neck are forged out of a single piece of steel and so is the collar up here. I mean, it's all one piece of steel. Now that, ain't, it's one piece of steel. It ain't ever going to come apart unless you break it, which I don't, I don't know that I'll ever do that. I don't use my garden hose that, that, uh, quite that hard, but, uh, one piece of steel. It's going to last forever. And, uh, the way these, uh, the way these collars are, you know, you stick the handle into the collar instead of trying to stick the neck into the, into the handle. And I think this makes a lot more sense. So I was real happy to find them. Give them a good old workout next year. And man, these whole these handles that are on here, they are so smooth. They've been used by a long they've been used for a long time. There's a couple good. So there's a couple good hoes. Good, good tools. Good tools that were made to last a long time, you know. How, how long ago were those hoes made? I don't know. They're probably ancient as this flashlight at least. But, uh, boy, it sure is a big difference between between now and then. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it'd be pretty neat if I could, uh, keep on with this blacksmithing. If I could learn to, uh, if I could learn to forge my own hose like that. I wonder if there'd be a market for hand-forged one-piece hose. <laughs> well, I hope you all are well. And we'll see you again next time. Bye.